We're joined here by Max Cooper. Thanks so much for uh, chatting with us here on Amplified Radio. Pleasure. You got a busy schedule. Uh, just played Movement Festival in Detroit, and this weekend coming up is uh, Toronto. Mm-hmm. That's right. My uh, second time in Toronto. Do you hear a lot about Toronto and uh, get your nerves up a bit about it? Well, it's always been um, talked to me as one of the best cities to play in in Canada. Um, so, and you know, I've only played there once, but it was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Do you find uh, places have kind of a stigma before you go and you feel like you need to match the, the crowd or the vibe in yeah, advance? Yeah, definitely. There's, there's, I mean, there's a few key cities, you know, for example, Detroit or Berlin, you know, where there's such a strong association of certain types of music and ideas with the city that you feel, yeah, that you should, you know, you do think about it and it's on, it can affect how, you know, what you decide to play. Do you do that consciously or are you still kind of like, uh, I'm playing what I'm playing and maybe... No, I do. I, I do. I, 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 uh, I try and know something or, you know, if I've played somewhere before or, you know, I've heard something about a city, then yeah, I will think that, you know, about what, maybe I, what sort of thing I should play. But obviously when I turn up, I'll play what's right for the event, you know, so a bit of preparation will go into thinking about what sort of things to prepare, to prepare but then... Really, I can change it all the last minute if I decide that you know the, the situation demands something else. So you had the artist album out just a couple of months ago. This is sort of a mini tour that you're on in the states and Canada for your new EP, the remix EP about it. Can you tell me a little bit about what's uh, what kind of reactions you've had so far? Uh, yeah, I mean the the remix EP's gone really well. Really, it's, um, it was just a matter of me choosing or you know contacting some of my favorite artists around the world and seeing if they were interested in getting involved. Um, luckily, some of them were. So we had Rodriguez Jr. Um, from um, Belgium and uh, Jack Dixon on the new one from New York and Olaf Stoop from Holland, uh, Lucine from Seattle um, so and uh, Harvey McKay from Scotland. So there's been you know, people from lots of different places involved and you know they've all done their own very different versions and sort of made their own interpretations and, and we've got a really diverse package, which is great. Is there someone in the past couple of weeks that since the whole project started, you were like, oh, I wish they would have got on and board? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of people that I, you know, that a, lot, a lot of great artists out there who um, I'd love to work with or, you know, have worked with my tracks as you new know, remixing. So, you know, there's, there's kind of great artists out there, but, you know, it's always uh, you can't uh, work with everyone at the same time. Do you still find that uh, traveling is uh, one of the most challenging parts about the whole process of DJing and producing? Or is there something else that jumps out at you as you wish you could skip that? Um, yeah, I don't mind traveling. It's, it's you know, I, if I, give, I get a bit of time to myself. You know, I quite like having time to gather my thoughts and, you know, um, no one can call me when I'm traveling. No one can contact me. It's quite, it's quite nice, you know, in some ways. Um, so I don't mind that so much. Um, the most challenging thing about the whole process is uh, trying to make good music. You know, that's it's, it's difficult, um, but that's a good challenge. You know, I, I guess you're asking if there's anything that uh, annoys me. Um, I guess uh, I think I think the the most the most annoying thing about it all is just the um, breaking up of uh, time. So, you know, it really helps to have. You know, if a week if you've got like two weeks to focus on one project or just write you know, write music without any interruptions, you, you get loads more done than if you have that, that same amount of time spread across, you know, but broken into different segments, right, with gigs in between. So I think that's the most difficult thing really to manage is how the you know, I get home and I'll be home for three days and then I'll have to travel again and I'll get home and I'll be home for a few days and then I'll have to travel again. And it's that sort of breaking up of uh, production time that uh, is the most difficult thing for me. As a producer, do you kind of tinker with things and, you know, work on a project for months at a time? Or is it that I've got three days, here's my session time, and the track is done after that? Uh, no, I, I keep tinkering and, you know, I'm, it takes me a lot longer than three days to, you know, get much done. So um, generally, yeah, I'll keep keep sort of, I'll try and get something, you know, to a a level where I can, I'm happy to at least leave it, um, which often means, you know, staying up all night and, you know, obsessing about something just to get to the point where I can leave it. But then that's never finished. You know, I'll keep coming back to it and coming back to it until, until it's really ready. Uh, and I guess just, uh, to finish things off real quick, uh, where are you looking forward to over the summer? Um, 
Well, uh, I guess a few favourite festivals. Um, I mean, yeah, Movement was one of them for sure. Um, then Decibel in Seattle is always a favourite. Um, Glastonbury in the UK I'm doing this year for the first time, which is you know an amazing festival. Um, Awakenings in, in Holland is always great. Um, i trying to think what other ones I'm, are, are the main ones. Oh, of course, Mutech. Mutech in Montreal. Um, you know, one of the great and the best festivals in the world, in my opinion. You know, they're always, they're always sort of pushing the latest, most interesting stuff. So I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm really excited to check that out. And do you have a strong opinion on this whole festival versus club kind of discussion that's been going around of late and what's better? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, variety is the spice of life. So, you know, I, I wouldn't want to do all of one or the other. You know, both have got pros and cons. You know, it's great fun playing into a big crowd at a big festival. But at the same time, it can be, you know, amazing play to a tiny crowd in, in a club, you know, a lot more intimate. Um, so there's, a, you know, there's pros and cons. I think personally, for me, going out, other, rather than for me talking, you know, in terms of DJing, but if I'm going out personally, then usually I prefer to go to the smaller um, events. But, of course, if I want to see radiohead you know i can't go and see radiohead in a small club so not some anymore things, some things you have to go to the big events to see the people you want you know yeah not anymore at least so yeah do you remember the last time you actually played like a small venue just for friends um yeah i played uh it wasn't so long ago actually i played at a friend's house party in london um about um like two or three months ago it was really good fun but that, i mean that was the first time i'd done it in a long time but it was brilliant fun yeah i really i really enjoyed it yeah, still a good time to be able to, you know, sit down, relax, have a drink with some friends and be like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I still Nothing do this. Nothing too serious. I ended up playing loads of, like, um, sort of retro, like, classic drum and bass tunes and stuff. Excellent. <laughs> well, thanks so much. I wish you the best on your uh, the rest of the tour here and uh, all the rest for the summer travels. Thank you. Hi, this is Max Cooper, and you're listening to DJ Amplified Radio. Yeah, uh, look, DJ Amps, and the show's called Amplified Radio. Whoops, DJ okay. Amps on Amplified Radio. Yeah, drive right oh, from so the top. Oh, so you're DJ Amps? Yes. Ah, okay. So you're, you're an integral part of the radio station. Then for, with you. For, how, can, how can Amplified Radio run without DJ Amps? Yeah, that's why they're both retiring. In oh, a they're both months. retiring? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Okay, so, so um, I'm Max Cooper, and you're listening to DJ Amps on Amplified Radio. This is my latest track. <laughs> 